What you got for me? My days are running together, but you, I think it was Monday, said you, the one thing you can't give your team and the players is experience. Yeah. Do you have a good um, idea or concept of, of what your guys will look like once they have that experience, <laughs> once they have uh, – We were just talking about their feet it. Under them. I mean, when it clicks, you got a lot of talented young guys out there. It's just – it's got to click, you know. It's a fast football team, you know, it really is. And I said that during the summer to my staff, like this is the fastest team when you look at it from top to bottom that we've had. But, you know, speed doesn't look fast when it's confused or uh, shell-shocked as it were in some spots last week. So, but, uh, you know, I think it's a group that can play with a lot of speed that has a lot of depth in certain positions, not others, but it's got to get it to click. You had speed and height for C.J. Riley. Mm -hmm. What has been lost, I guess, with the, the deep ball attack? Is there someone that can do some of the things that C.J. was expected to do? Yeah, I think, you know, between Omeka and Keon Lassain is growing into his role now because he's <clears> fast. And he was, you know, banged up a little bit in the first week. And then I thought he made some nice plays this week in practice. Um, Tabari's a guy that can do some things down the field. Uh, you know, as you've seen with... Uh, Cecil Powell is a guy that can do some things. You know, we just got to grow. You know, it's every time you lose a player, it's the next man up, but it changes the chemistry, and you got to kind of figure out where you go from here. And so that's something we've spent a lot of time discussing, you know, what we've lost and how we're going to plug and play. Ryan right. well, trusted Calvin. Calvin made the 50 50 ball into the 80 mm -hmm. 20 ball, as he would like to call it. Is took it, time though, you know. I mean, yeah. it wasn't like that when he was a sophomore. So that's, that's the thing. Be my like, question: How long does it yeah. take for Matthew to get trust, say, with an Omeka or maybe a Devin Carter, a bigger body mm -hmm. type receiver who can go up and get it? Um, well, I think he threw a really good ball to Omeka in the game, and he ended up about six inches out of bounds on the catch. You know, so I think that trust is already there. It's just we got to get the timing of those things. He did make a nice back shoulder throw and catch in our opener to Omeka. So I think that's going with Devin. That's the thing that we got to get so it's on both sides of the field. On Monday, you said the plan was to have James Smith-Williams and, and, and Joseph back. Uh, are they on schedule? You, do you have an idea as to whether they're going to be able to play? And Joe's them? good. Yeah, Joe's good. James is still questionable. What uh, does having a guy like Deontay Holden, you know, help yeah. in that situation, an older guy that you can plug in there? It helps. Uh, now that Deontay's healthy, I mean, he missed all the training camp. You know, so now that he's healthy, it helps to have another guy. And Savion's got to continue to get better as he's gaining reps in our defense. So that's kind of where we're at. With, with Deontay, was was that part of you know, him being out, you know, for, in Paris for four weeks? Or no. was this something different? Yeah, it was different. Okay. Did you like what you saw in practice this week in terms of how they responded? I did. Um, Tuesday was very focused. Now, there's always going to be a lot of mistakes on Tuesday because you're introducing game plan stuff to the guys, but their energy was, was excellent. Wednesday was our best Wednesday that we've had this year. Um, so we'll see how it translates, you know. First night game of the year, so we've got to deal with that as well. And, you know, I expect a very angry football team. Now we've got to put that into execution and go out and do our jobs. Is there any difference in preparing a team for a night game and having to sit around all day yeah, to play? Or? It's a long day, and, you know, we're a morning practice team, so our guys aren't used to that. So it changes. The good thing is, is we have three in a row. <laughs> so this gets us in a routine again, I guess, you know.